okay next is fourth one mark t if the statement is true and f if it is false so the next one it is the fourth question now fourth question which is true and false okay now we are going to talk about true and false see the first one is generally non metals reacts with acid just now we have seen the reaction of metals with acids we'll do it we'll just don't mug up just now i told you what they are asking generally non metals i'll take the example of hydrogen reacts with acids hcl oh my god what it will be formed h2cl you think is it there take another example of o oh, hcl will it be forming some sense no it doesn't forms any sense so what should i write over here a it is a is false that means the non metals they generally don't or they do not do not reacts with they do not react with acids okay now the b1 is sodium is very reactive metal now i don't think so that i have to give you any kind of explanation over here i can write b here only okay just now i gave you the example of sodium and we have discussed in this chapter also like suppose if i take little of water and if i put a grain like i'm talking grain like size of sodium and if i put that sodium into water what will happen you what you'll see over here you will see a fire or it will catch fire okay why it will catch fire because it is an exothermic reaction it will react and the hydrogen gas will be liberated which will also start burning okay so what is this this one is sodium is very reactive metal so what i will write obviously i will write true now i'll go to the c1 okay copper again that displacement reaction or by the reactivity series has come so please focus over there copper displaces zinc from zinc sulfate solution let me write i said we won't learn copper okay copper displaces zinc from which solution zinc sulfate solution so will they are asking will copper will be able to displace zinc and it will be forming copper sulfate we'll have a look where is copper copper is here and where is zinc zinc is here who is up zinc is up obviously then zinc is more reactive so copper will not be able to replace zinc from zinc sulfate are you getting it clear see copper displaces copper displaces zinc from zinc sulfate no way why because my reactivity series is showing what zinc is up zinc is up means what zinc is more reactive than what then copper so what will happen will zinc uh, will zinc allow copper to replace no not at all so what i should write over here copper displaces zinc from zinc sulfate solution is false now i'll go to the d1 coal can be drawn into wires you all know this you all have seen coal just try to hammer it what will happen can you make a wire out of that no it's very easy no so what you are going to write over here false this property shows what like when i'm talking coal can be drawn into wires drawn into wires means i'm talking about what ductility okay is this thing clear now 
I will move to the fifth one. Now one dabba is given, one box is given. Let's see what is there in the box. Some properties are listed in the following table. Distinguish between metals and non-metals on the basis of these properties. Fine, take care. So they are talking about the properties. I will write only, I will make two columns, metals and non-metals. Rather I should write property also over here. Okay, so this is property, okay, metals, non-metals, okay. So, we are dealing with the fifth question in which what is given, they themselves has given certain properties. First one is what they are talking about appearance. They are talking about appearance. Means how do these metals and non-metals look? We have discussed this thing just before few minutes. Appearance means what? They are looking, how they look. So how they look? Metals, they are, they are dull or they have shine on them. them sorry, them. So obviously they have shine. So how can we write shine? Shall we write in this way that metals have shine? No, they are lustrous. They are what? Lustrous. Okay. And what about non-metals? They are non-lustrous. Non-lustrous and dull. Yes, now second is, now second is hardness. We have discussed much about this that hardness depends upon the density, density depends upon the how close the atoms are present in any substance. If they are closely packed, the density will increase, if density will increase, the hardness will increase. Now when we talk about metals and non-metals, are metals closely packed, are metals more hard or non-metals are hard. So we all know metals are what should I write over here, they are what they are asking metals, they are very hard, very hard but then I need to write exception also, so exception is what? potassium and sodium. When we talk about non-metals, non-metals are what? Very soft but again I need to write exception over here also. Exception is what? Graphite, no. Graphite is soft only. So what should I write? I should write diamond over here. Diamond is the hardest substance till now what humans know. Okay. Now, next one is third one is malleability. It is malleability. Okay. So, who is malleable? I do not think so that we need to discuss now. Metals are malleable. Metals are malleable and non metals are non malleable. Yes, now fourth one ductility. Okay. Ductility is what? Ductility is what? Is the ability to drawn into wires. Malleability is what? It is what? Sheets. Yes. They can be drawn into sheets. They cannot be drawn into sheets. Now ductile, they are what? They are ductile. I do not think so. Now we have to discuss. We have discussed this thing. These are non-ductile. 
ok. Now the fifth one I will club this fifth and sixth it is enough we have done about conductors I will write only one um, heat so I will clap in this way heat and electricity conductors conduction yes. So, these are what good conductors ok, but then again what what is there like uh, when talk about heat also hai na? so copper is good conductor electricity also copper is good conductor, but you know the iron bismuth these are what these are poor conductors yes. So, please pay attention about that remember that thing very nicely ok. So, always you have to men mention over here now here they are what poor conductors, but again a very important point exception here is fantastic that is graphite ok. Now, this graphite is a wonderful conductor and that is a re like uh, sorry uh, huh, correct I am saying correct I am right that graphite is a very good conductor and so it is also used to make electrodes yes this was about your fifth question ok. Now, we are going to proceed towards the next question that is sixth one give reasons for the following before talking about the reasons I will just wipe from here. Mm -hmm. We will talk about sixth question it is give reason for the following sixth one give reason. ok. First one aluminum foils are used to wrap food items I will read it once again aluminum foils are used to wrap food items. See first of all it is used to make wrap food items means what they are talking about they are talking about that foils are being made ok from the aluminum. So, what can be the reasons aluminum is what aluminum is very good uh, it is having a uh, good malleability you know, because aluminum is malleable ok because what number it is a it is malleable first of all it is malleable ok because aluminum is malleable ok uh, foils wrapping means what they are see when we talk about food the metal should not in whatever things we are wrapping the food obviously if that particular thing is very reactive then what will happen it is going to react with the food also. So, very important thing is that the particular thing in which we are wrapping the food should not be reactive yes. So, it is very or I should say it is least one of the least reactive very it is not very less reactive ok it is very less reactive means it does not react why it does not react see in reactivity series it is on the uh, 1 2 3 4 fifth number then also why aluminum does not react because aluminum uh, forms a layer of its own oxide ok aluminum reacts with oxygen and forms aluminum oxide and then it prevents the aluminum from the further oxidation. So, it is malleable very less reactive and at the same time what happens it prevents it prevents it prevents food 
from the oxidation and if you do not understand oxidation then you can write prevents from getting spoiled. oxidation or because aluminum is malleable very less reactive it prevents food from the oxidation or then I will have to add much things from the oxidation and getting spoiled I will put this in the bracket getting spoiled ok and it is light also that is also one of the reason if you make it from the some other thing which is very heavy. So, again like so many qualities it has got see first of all it is malleable it is a very good thing malleable if it is if uh, this quality uh, because of this quality it is uh, one is able to make sheets out of that not, uh, thin foils out of that. So, that is the reason it is having malleability it is very less reactive it prevents food from the further oxidation from the oxidation that means it prevents the food from being getting spoiled and at the same time it is also very light. Now we will move to the next one which is now B immersion, immersion rods for heating liquids are made up of metallic substances. Now see we have discussed much about this when we talk about heating that, may, that means it has to be a good conductor of heat ok. So, all because all because all metals are good conductors because all metals are good conductors of what heat ok means what they want to heat the thing if something has to be heated that means what has to be there it needs to be a good conductor then only the heat can pass. So, because all metals are good conductors of heat understood now next one C is copper cannot oh again the same thing I told you reactivity series is very important copper cannot displace zinc from its salt solution first they have asked in this previous question they asked whether it will be able to displace or not and now what they are doing they are asking why they won't be why it won't be able to displace. So, simple reason is why copper cannot displace zinc from its salt solution because zinc is more reactive ok. Zinc is as I will write the complete answer see what is a displacement reaction a displacement reaction is a reaction in which a more reactive element uh, replaces or displaces the less reactive element, but here as zinc is more reactive than what it is copper more reactive than copper and so then you can write next last from the question you know? and so as zinc is more reactive than copper so it cannot displace from the solution which solution we are talking about which solution we are talking about we are talking about again zinc sulfate solution we have done this before also as copper is what it is what less reactive or more reactive it is less reactive than zinc and zinc is more reactive than copper and so it cannot replace it. Now next one um, next is D am I writing correct numbers yeah now D will come now what is N D 
sodium and potassium are stored in kerosene see we have to write give reason huh? so it will be in the full stop form only sodium and potassium are stored in kerosene why they are stored in kerosene because they are very reactive as sodium and potassium are very reactive they even reacts with the moisture present in the air with the moisture present in the air and so are then from the question and so they are kept in the kerosene to prevent these reactions ok now next is 7th question can you store lemon pickle in an aluminum utensil explain now I will have to rub the board ok see I told that aluminum is less reactive just now I told yes but when I say aluminum is less reactive but still aluminum is a metal ok and whenever aluminum or any metal comes in contact with uh, pickle or any sour thing or any acid see all sour things they have acids we all know that yes even lemon has got acid in that and when it comes in contact with when aluminum will or any metal will comes in contact with acid they are going to react with it they are going to react with it and so we cannot keep pickles at least yes we can keep the food we can wrap the food properly but we cannot keep the pickles into this foil ok so the question is 7 can you store lemon pickle in an aluminum utensil no why because I am writing short form of because ok because all metals like all metals are what are reactive are reactive more or less ok more or less what is the meaning of more or less is they will react some will react faster some will react slower all metals are reactive more or less so they can or uh, they will I should write here aluminum no why because all metals are reactive aluminum will also react with the acid present in the what they have asked lemon pickle ok and so it has to be avoided what is the they have asked if we can make the uh, foils out of the if the foils the uh, wrappers the foils aluminum foil can be made then why the pickle the lemon pickles can't be kept or they have asked simply can we keep it so we cannot keep it because all metals are reactive more or less why have written more or less because 
some metals may react more or some metals may react less, but they are reactive and lemon means what it is sour, sour means what it is having an acid and metals reacts with acids and obviously the product which will be formed will be harmful for us and so the lemon pickle cannot be stored in the uh, aluminum jars it has or aluminum utensils rather where it has to be kept in the glass or you know some different kind of uh, bond channel type of material comes in that this pickles has to be kept ok. Now, now the next one is match the column ok, next one is match the pairs. Mesh the pairs, I should write mesh the pair that side, Chalo I will write here only, it is so many 6, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then I will have to write answers also, Chalo hai. now first of all I will have to write gold, I will write the First of all, just I will write finish up this. They have given thermometer, ok. I also keep making second is iron, third is aluminium, fourth is carbon, fifth copper, then mercury. Here A is thermometer, B is electric wire, C is wrapping food, D is jewelry, E is machinery. F is fuel. Okay, we'll write the answers here. For first is what? Gold. Now see, thermometer, electric wire, wrapping food. Obviously, gold is what? Jewelry. So this one is done. Gold is what? Jewelry. Correct. Okay. Now, second, iron, iron has to be what machinery, iron is machinery, we all know so many machines are being made by the iron, obviously iron can't make, uh, we can't make jewelry from the irons and we can't make machineries from the gold, so obviously these are the correct answer. Now the third one, aluminium. Aluminium is what? Aluminium is what? Aluminium is what? It is wrapping of food. Just now we had two questions of this. Wrapping wrapping of food. Okay. What it is wrapping of food? Why it is used for wrapping the foods? Because food because it is malleable, it is light, it is less reactive, it prevents the oxidation of the food, ok. Now the fourth one, what is the fourth one? Carbon, ok. Carbon is used as a fuel, yes correct. Carbon can be used as a fuel. Now, how carbon can be used in the fuel? See when we talk about charcoal, when we talk about coal, in all these things what is present? Obviously carbon is present, ok. Especially uh, all the these fuels which we use for uh, cooking also, carbon is present in a lot of amount in that. So carbon is what? Fuel. Now next is 
copper simple electric wires there is not even a need to give second thought to that copper is electric wire now sixth one mercury nothing is left now and we all know also it is thermometer I think this was quite easy one yes just have to be little attentive and be fast in the work is not it. Now the next one is the next one is what happens when ok they are asking what happens when dilute sulfuric acid is poured on poured on a copper plate ok. The uh, dilute sulfuric acid. So, I will write which question number is this? Ninth. This was which one? Well, this was 8. Let me write the numbers. This was 8. Now, we are talking about the ninth. Now, they are asking dilute sulfuric acid is poured on a copper plate. So, what will happen? Okay. Now, dilute sulfuric acid H2SO4 plus for copper plate Cu. So, what will happen? Obviously, copper reacts with sulfuric acid we all know that. So, what will happen? CuSO4 will be formed CuSO4 what is left? Hydrogen is left. So, what will happen? Sulfuric acid is going to react with the copper and copper sulphate will be formed and hydrogen gas will be liberated ok. Now, second thing they are asking this was A I will talk about now B iron nails are placed in copper solution oh no not again iron nails are placed in a copper sulphate solution but see they are asking one question in different forms be very attentive do not think that we are repeating the questions. Why? Because now this time they have asked to write word equation of the reactions involved. So, first of all iron, iron nails are placed in a copper sulphate solution just come over here we know iron is more reactive than copper. So, what will be formed? FeSO4 will be formed and what will be liberated Cu will be precipitate it is going to precipitate out it is going to be I do not say uh, liberate I will say precipitated fine. Now, I have to write I have written this equation uh, but it is quite easy for you they have asked to write in word equation. So, what I will write I will write iron plus copper sulphate Okay, right here dilute also where they were given copper sulphate dilute ok. Now, they are going to react with what hmm, they have reacted. So, what will form see it has to be written there only, but as I do not have place I am writing it down ok. So, what will be formed ferrous sulphate ferrous sulphate will be formed along with that what is formed hydrogen is also formed. Understood this thing? Iron plus copper sulphate it give rise to ferrous sulphate and hydrogen will be liberated out. So, this was about the ninth question. Now, we will talk about the tenth question few more are left ok. So, let us let us talk about 10 question 